Hey guys, uh, Shane with uh, Just For Kicks here. Got a video, I'm just gonna show you my workbench. I know I haven't made any videos in a while. Um, I've actually been working on a few videos, but I just haven't been able to get the projects that I'm doing finished. So I'm just gonna show my workbench off. I got that done, I'll just do a kind of a pan down. And we'll go down there and talk about each individual object. Uh, so right here, <clears throat> uh, this doesn't have my reloading stuff on it. My reloading bench is a mess right now, so I'm trying to keep it out of the shot until I get it cleaned back up. I basically had to push everything over there to build this bench real quick. Um, so this is my arbor press for Kydex. I got this in backwards. I was doing some goofy stuff with it the other day. Uh, so I got my arbor press here. It's got the knife kit sticker on well, it used to have a knife kit sticker on it. Oh, it's on this side. Um, but it's just the standard arbor press. It's been mounted down. Super solid. Uh, then I got my Kydex press here. Um, this crap here is just... Um, I like to wrap mine with, um, with paper towels so that it doesn't mess up these foam pads. Um, so I don't have to go out and buy a bunch of new foam pads. Um, and then we got my drill press here. This is just a central machinery drill press. Uh, not a super expensive or fancy one, but it does the job. It is, as you can see, a five speed. Um, to adjust those, we have to go on the inside here to adjust the speed, but it's not that big of a deal. I've just been leaving it at what it came with, and it does what I need it to do. Then here we have a Dremel press. Um, I made a custom rod that goes all the way, about three foot of rod there, um, instead of the standard... Um, short one here that um, used to be there um, and the reason I did that is eventually instead of using this hook here to uh, hang my Dremel for using this Dremel attachment here um, I'll be able to just attach it to this raise this all the way up and then it's always attached to the Dremel basically or in the Dremel press and this thing does all kinds of cool things turns to the side and does all kinds of things but this is the tip I use most of the time this little um, basically it's like a pin uh, getting in there and it's it does a really good job um, then here one of my belts fell down uh, right there I just got a bunch of uh, one by thirty belts. Um, then right here, um, we've got my one by thirty sander, and this is actually one of the projects I've been working on. I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. It is a knife, though, um, out of an old file. So I've been working on that. As you can see, it's really freaking dusty. Um, and then I just have this little uh, light up here that uh, basically I can move along my bench and position it. It's got these this clamp here nothing fancy I probably get an LED bulb for that eventually um, but the fact that I can just move it around and, and adjust the light to however I need it to for when I'm working on whatever project I'm working on is awesome and then I've just got my all, all this other stuff down this way is all mounted good and solid uh, this thing is really loud um, so I, I do have a mask and some hearing protection there for that and then I've just got this grinder just sitting here um, this is where the bench kind of ends you can see this part here we're gonna actually add a little bit more on to it um, for right now this is just sitting here I'll probably have actually a bench vise uh, sitting here I need to get one of those I think I'm gonna put it here um, at some point and I'll probably make a longer table for this um, grinder here so that I can work on you know I can put like a jig or something up and move along quite a distance here um, and then the grinder will go on the other side on of that bench vise over here so um, there's a that's just a little cut off chop saw uh, I think it's I don't know what brand it is it's just a cheap one from Harbor Freight in fact um, that's Harbor Freight that's Harbor Freight and the drill press was Harbor Freight the Dremel one I think I bought that at Ace um, or Walmart and then this skill grinder nothing fancy about this thing as you can see uh, this wheel is torn up and ground up um, from doing that kind of crap on it <clears throat> really bad for a grinding wheel uh, as you can see this one's missing its gate I took that off for some reason and I can't for the life of me remember why I've got the other piece this is to this in one of my toolboxes, but I haven't put it on because it's actually kind of handy to not have it there. This one's set up stock just like the way it came. Um, I haven't used this grinding stone as much, but it's it's 
not perfect either. It's got a little bit of a bevel on this side, which needs to be fixed. Uh, that's just my GoPro. I'm just charging it, um, getting ready to hopefully make some more videos. Um, but the workbench, oh, you can see I've got a monster cup sitting there. Um, it's it's coming along. Um, I've got to do some wire management. I want to get this mounted up on the wall, so it's kind of out of the way and where I can run this these power cords up out of the way and just kind of make everything nice and neat um, so basically the specs on this was it's about 30 inches high I believe um, basically it's two no three two by sixes and a two by four make up the bench and that's uh, the reason I did that it was in before I moved I had restrictions on how big I can make my bench in my old house for my reloading setup um, and when I got over to the new house, I had a whole wall that I could do a workbench on. And this bench really does really good. I can sit here at the grinder or the sander or the drill press or whatever I need to do uh, for long periods of time. And uh, just really get after it. Uh, do a lot of good work. Um, like I said, this knife is one of the projects I've been working on. Um, I've also got a reloading video that's going to be coming out hopefully fairly soon. I've got... I got a few more things I got to do before I can actually film the rest of it, but um, it's coming along. Um, so hopefully, um, here before too long, you get a couple of videos. Uh, this video may take a while to get out because I still have a lot of work to do um, on this knife. As you can see, there's still file marks there on the flat spots that need to be done, taken care of. Um, it's not quite to an edge yet. Let me show you this other side. That's how thick it was to start with. That's where we are now. It's taken a lot of work. I still have a lot more grinding to do. And then once I get this down to a pretty close to a point, basically almost sharp, then I'll take and I'll run through my sandpaper grids and go on up. Um, probably up to, I've got a 120, brand new 120 grid I'll probably throw on there. And then I've got a used 120 grid that's probably more like 150 grit. And then I've got a, probably it's a, Oh, it might even be close to a, a 300 grit at this point um, that I've just used and used and used until it's you know, smooth. And when I was using it at first, um, it was just polishing the steel. And then I, I knew I needed some new belts, so I went down to Harbor Freight and bought a couple of new belts. But um, that's the workbench. Just a quick little video to let you guys know. You know, I'm still filming. Um, been a long week. Worked six days this week at my day job. So uh, I've just kind of ground and done videos as I can do them. I had a little bit of time today to do a video and I thought, shoot, let's get it shot. Um, you know, it's not perfect. It's not done yet. Still have some wire management to do. Um, but once I get that done, this bench will be fully ready to rock and roll and I think we'll get some good projects out of it. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.